Hello, I'm Sarah and today I am reviewing for you this Ole Hendrickson very fancy tiny moisturizer sample which is the sheer transformation. Very nice. Um, so I got this as a hundred point perk from Sephora. I'm just going to look up the price really quickly because I just realized I did not do that beforehand. Um, so the point of this moisturizer is that it is supposed to, there we go, uh, supposed to help um, in kind of like long-term color correction. If I understand it correctly, it's supposed to help get rid of dark spots. Um, I was hoping that it would deal with a little bit of pigmentation issue that I had. Uh, I had an extremely large pimple occur there earlier in the winter, and then I had a couple of sort of like just, just basically acne scarring that I was just hoping that it might uh, work on. Do, do, do. There we go. Um, so yeah, this was a hundred point perk, which I was, I have to say, like, it's just, it's just a tiny little jar. So I was like a little bit disappointed. There was a surprising amount in there, even though it was like, it was the opposite of all other times that you get tiny jars where you're like, I was surprised there was so much, you know, like you go and you open it up and you're like, I didn't think there'd be that much in here. And I was like, I remember getting the jar and I was like really disappointed because I was like, there was so little in there. Um, and I was like, this is tiny, this is bullshit. Uh, but actually it was really, um, it was really great size and do to do, there we go. Sheer transformation. Um, so the full size of this is $48 for a 1.7 ounce do to do 18 this isn't 0.5 ounces yeah and there's a three ounce for 78 um, And they are claiming that it is an oil-free, lightweight moisturizer that nourishes skin as it gently exfoliates and uh, fades dark spots. Um, it's formulated uh, for skin to feel healthy and bright, and this lightweight moisturizer, uh, silky whipped texture that melts into the skin. Um, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... I'm going to say that actually those things are true. Those things are very, very true. And I actually thought that this was going to be more expensive. Um, so the big jar, three ounces. Um, is about as big as this jar, which is huge. Well, about this much product. So it's a lot of products. It's a lot of products. I'm not going to say it's not a lot of product. Or more importantly, three of these. It'd be three of these. I was just shooting a different video. I don't know that I have anything that's actually very, very helpful. Um, so this stuff, I didn't think it was doing that much. Um, I've been sort of... Tiny little jar, and I've been scraping it out. It is... I'm gonna say it. I didn't. I didn't like it to begin with. I used it a couple of times, and I didn't feel that it did anything awesome. So I tried it out earlier this year, and it was very cold and very wintry and very shitty. Um, and it wasn't enough. Um, my skin was completely wrecked earlier this year. I kept having so many breakouts. Everything was awful. The weather was terrible. My skin was terrible. Everything was unhappiness. Uh, so I didn't like this when I first tried it, and I busted it out a couple weeks ago because I ran out of the other moisturizer that I was trying. And you use a surprisingly small amount. So I thought that I would be through this tiny jar in a week. Um, I am awful about my skincare, and I basically will guaranteed remember usually uh, to do it before bed. <laughs> um, but so I'm not going to say that I've been absolutely... Um, you know, I haven't been absolutely faithful to this. Um, I've been slotting this in around my body shop, bouncy sleeping mask, but definitely if I'm doing foundation or anything, this has been my daytime moisturizer. Um, so I kind of have, 
Oh, unless I'm using a tinted moisturizer. But I would say definitely I'm using this several times a week. So that's my point. Okay. So I really, I realized I was almost out of it and I wanted to talk about it. And I literally, I wanted to say a bunch of shitty things about it. And then I really looked at my face and I realized that it's not fair because I put makeup on. So you can't really see, but I had, and I know it's been in the videos. I've had a really, really dark spot. Uh, that I had a huge pimple like I had one of those like huge monster sort of like cystic acne pimples that just wouldn't come up and wouldn't come up and would, it just it stayed forever and it was horrible and it was massive and it was painful and I admittedly am secretly a five-year-old child so I couldn't leave it the fuck alone so it just looked awful and even though I left it alone as much as I could tried not to fuss with it all those things and I genuinely thought it was just redness because it was bruised and whatever. It left like a huge mark. And it was really obvious. And it was just, it really, it bugged me. And to the point where I was like, I don't really want to leave the house with nothing on my face. Because I felt like it was, it was something that was really obvious. I didn't like it. It was like literally one of those things where it was docking my confidence. Because I felt like people were looking at it because I basically had a giant red spot on my face. And this hasn't gotten rid of it completely. Okay, I'm not saying that. But when I really looked at it today, because I'm so pale, acne scarring and stuff like that always stays. And it stays for a long ass time. And this has really, really helped. Um, it's knocked it back to the point where I can put stuff on my face and that pigmentation... The pigmentation of my moisturizer, not my moisturizer, my foundation is generally covering it. I might have to put a little bit of concealer on it, but it's actually covering. So it's definitely lightened it a lot. I also had a spot that was right here on my face that was like, I don't know what it was. It was like a sunspot or something. Um, it was just one of those things where it was, it was either it was like a sunspot or it was like, it was like one of those like speedy pimples where you're like, I didn't even know there was a pimple there, but somehow I've got a scar and it, it wasn't anything like scary. It was just like one of those things where like you wake up one day and you're like, why is there a thing on my face? And yeah, and it was, it, I had it for a couple of years and it was a dark spot and I didn't like it. And I was looking to see how it had affected it today. And it's basically, it's gone. Um, I still have a spot here that's, just um like a pimple but no it was it was right here and it would have made a beautiful beauty mark but it was like it was just a freckle it was just a big freckle probably um but it's really knocked it right back so this stuff given t like given some time does seem to knock the dark spots back quite a bit now i also want to speak to it as a moisturizer because it doesn't feel incredibly rich, um, but it's still, it's nice, it is silky. You definitely get that. And it absorbs really fast. Like, I have to say that this is one of the fastest, you know, absorbing facial moisturizers that I have used thus far that wasn't tailored for oily skin and so was just something that your skin just sucked up. and. I mean, it's behaved really well, like when I've just exfoliated or when I've used it with a serum, when I've forgotten and not used my serum, it always soaks in really quick and not like, oh, is it evaporating? I mean, my skin is just drinking this shit in. It's really nice. Um, and I mean, you're not using a hell of a lot. But it's also hard to use too much of it. Like, it's not leaving any kind of, like, oily residue. I gotta say, I wasn't sold. I really, I didn't want to like it. Like, I got such a tiny jar, and I spent 100 points on this. And I was like, I don't want to like you, because you look like a fucking free-size sample. I didn't want to like it. But I actually really like it, and I think I'm gonna get the full-sized. And I think I might get it from my birthday. And I'm really unhappy about how much I like it. It's just, it's weird. So, yeah. 
having a day like that. <laughs> anyway, so yes, that's what I have to say about that. Thank you so much for watching me rant about something that I apparently really enjoy. Um, so definitely, I recommend it. It often, this often pops up on the 100 point perk. And also, I feel like you can find this in the sample section at Sephora too. And I want to say that maybe you can pick up one this size at the flyby spot when you're leaving Sephora. I, I want to say that I've seen it there. Um... But the smallest size, I feel like, bear with me while I find out how big this is, because I don't feel like this is half an ounce. Meh. Oh. Seven mils. No, I don't think this is half an ounce. But there is a half ounce jar, so a smaller one that's 18. Um, so I think that might also, like, I really honestly, I... The thing is, if you buy the little jar and you hate it, um, you can take it back to Sephora. They have a really great returns policy. And if anybody's a dick to you, take it to a different Sephora. And also let them know that somebody was a dick to you. Because I always find I have really great luck at mine. Um, but yeah, this stuff, oddly amazing. Um, I would really give it a try. And I and I gotta say, like I wasn't necessarily sold, but I think I'm going to try some more things around the line. Because like... Like, I really, I, it was so weird. It was like, I was thinking the other day about pulling out one of my other moisturizers because I was so, <laughs> I wanted to use one of my other moisturizers because I was like, no, I hate that one. And then I automatically put it on my face and I was like, even as I was putting it on, I was like, oh, it's so nice. No, I hate you. I hate you. I don't want to like you. And so that's how that was. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and... I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.